Muscatatuck National Wildlife Refuge is located in south central Indiana. The name comes from the Muscatatuck River, which means land of winding waters. It includes 7,802 acres near Seymour and a 78 acre parcel known as the Russell Unit near Bloomington. Muscatatuck's mission is simple to restore, preserve, and manage a mix of forest, wetland, and grassland habitat for fish, wildlife, and people. Special management emphasis is given to waterfowl, other migratory birds, and endangered species. Converted farmlands comprise 60% of the total land area of the park. Several archaeological sites in the refuge are on the National Register of Historic Places. Much of the tree cover is deciduous forest. Nine miles of refuge roads that are open sunrise to sunset seven days a week attract approximately 100,000 to the refuge each year. Wildlife viewing opportunities are excellent at Muscatatuck and the refuge is known as an exceptionally fine bird watching site. Wildlife abounds and some animals like white-tailed deer, raccoon, and turkey can be seen throughout the year. Over 280 species of birds have been seen on the refuge. Water manipulation is an important management tool at Muscatatuck. Many wetland units are connected by pipes and water control structures so that the water can be moved between units at different times of the year. Muscatatuck's moist soil units, low open areas surrounded by dikes, are filled with water in the fall and drained at the spring to provide feeding areas for waterfowl and shorebirds. Similarly, green tree units, diked lowland forests, are flooded with water in the fall for waterfowl and drained in the spring to keep the trees healthy. One result of this water manipulation is the creation of permanent marshes, swampy areas of lush vegetation interspersed with pockets of shallow open water which are ideal homes for ducks and geese to raise their young. Trees are also planted to reduce forest fragmentation and provide more diverse habitats for wildlife. Muscatatuck provides many opportunities for environmental education and the refuge is a great place for school groups to learn about wildlife in various wildlife habitats. Fishing is permitted on certain areas of the refuge year-round and seasonally in Stanfield Lake where hand-powered boats may be used. Good catches of largemouth bass, bluegill, crappie, and channel catfish can usually be made on the refuge. Ice fishing is permitted when conditions are safe. Refuge fishing areas are marked with public fishing area signs. A remnant of non-poisonous northern copper belly water snakes still exists in the park. Hunting for rabbit, quail, and deer is permitted in certain parts of the refuge at certain times. Wood ducks are one species of waterfowl that finds excellent nesting habitat at Muscatatuck National Wildlife Refuge. Males usually arrive in February to check out suitable nesting cavities in forested wetland areas. Females arrive soon after the males and egg laying occurs in tree cavities in March and April. By early May, the young wood ducks hatch and leave the trees to spend the rest of the summer in refuge wetlands. In late fall, wood ducks leave the refuge and migrate south. Early mornings in midsummer are good times to observe young wood ducks feeding in marsh areas along the auto tour route. A pair of bald eagles has been nesting at Muscatatuck National Wildlife Refuge for more than a decade in an inaccessible swamp area. Between two and three youngsters have fledged each year, although the nest has blown down many times and had to be rebuilt. Both adult and immature eagles can sometimes be spotted on the refuge hunting for fish over marshes, moist soil units, and lakes. Muscatatuck National Wildlife Refuge is also home to river otters, once common in Indiana. Their numbers dropped off because of overtrapping and loss of wetland habitat. Muscatatuck became the first otter reintroduction site in Indiana in 1995. Good viewing areas for otters are the marshes and creeks along the auto tour route, along with Stanfield Lake and Richard Lakes. Muscatatuck National Wildlife Refuge is a pocket of wetland habitat surrounded by farmland and development. 
While 86% of the historic wetland habitat in Indiana was drained, many refuge wetlands have survived. Refuge staff manage water levels in moist soil units, marshes, and two lakes. Some marshes are flooded and periodically drained to encourage plant development. Moist soil units in marshes are sometimes disked to prevent trees and other wanted vegetation from taking over. Natural springs have combined with creek drainages in the Moss Lake area to create a swamp that serves as an important sanctuary for many species of wildlife. About 70% of Muscatatuck National Wildlife Refuge is covered by forest. Most forest at the refuge is bottomland, hardwood forest that is frequently covered with water. Beaver dams are removed periodically to keep bottomland forests healthy and trees are planted in certain areas to reduce forest fragmentation and provide diverse habitat for wildlife. The restoration of bottomland hardwood habitat is a major goal of the Big Rivers ecosystem of which Muscatatuck National Wildlife Refuge is a part. Areas of grassland habitat on Muscatatuck National Wildlife Refuge are periodically mowed or burned to prevent trees from taking over and to provide for many wildlife species. Grassland areas along the auto tour route provide excellent wildlife viewing opportunities for birds including meadowlarks, grasshopper sparrows, sedge wrens, and sometimes even sandhill cranes. On December 23, 1998, a small flock of four trumpeter swans were reintroduced to the refuge when they flew from Sudbury, Ontario, accompanied by an ultralight plane. This was the first time trumpeters had migrated to southern Indiana in over a hundred years. Although these trumpeters returned to Sudbury in 1999 and 2000, the flock appears to have died out. Although other reintroduced trumpeters visit the refuge in the winter today. Also migrating tundra swans winter at Muscatatuck every year, usually a month or so before Christmas. In 2001, the Hooping Crane Eastern Partnership raised Hooping Crane chicks in Wisconsin's Nasetta National Wildlife Refuge, then guided them to Florida's Chassahawitsa National Wildlife Refuge using Muscatatuck as a stopover site on the migration. That population has been successful and by 2010 there were up to 105 migrating birds established in the eastern United States for the first time in over a hundred years. The migrating birds are regularly seen during migration stopovers at Muscatatuck, often in the company of sandhill cranes.